on the classes let's add some lecturers students and tests here now the way this thing is here there is a better version of this which is this one that has a add new button so i'm just going to go to let me close all the files that are currently open close all files so i want to go to the profile view here and i want to get this very thing here and where is that actually no it should be users.view yes uh this one right here so there's this nav bar here that's what i want to get so i'm going to copy this nav bar copy and now we come to the class class a single class it's called single class single dash class dot view this is the one and then here we have these tabs over here so these are our tabs and then we have this nav bar here so i'm just going to replace this nav boom with this new one but uh, let's tab it in so it makes more sense like so okay very good now if i refresh uh let me go back to classes second class now you see that we have a add new button here which is what i wanted so we can add a new lecturer so someone who create the class they can add themselves as lecturer uh, because here they're just the creator so maybe a lecturer wants another lecturer to take over while he's not around so you can add a few lecturers here and then they should be able to add some students same thing here and there now this is appearing on all of these but we need a different version for each one of these so to do that um, that way we let, let me add a word here lecturer that way we can see that uh, we are dealing with a different button each time so add new lecturer if i click it comes to this but this is not what we want we want to add a new lecturer by selecting a lecturer's name or something of that sort same with the students we want to add students by selecting their name or email address or something like that and uh, same with tests so what we will do is we'll create separate files we're going to call each file uh, class for example it would be class lecture class tab lecturers class tab students class tab tests so let's do that right here I'm going to right click on views new so the reason we're going to name them like this it's it's very good to be organized that way you know exactly where to go when you're looking for a specific file so this first file will be called uh, class hyphen tab hyphen lecturers like this dot view dot PHP now this is an include file so if you want instead of saying dot view you can say dot inc but don't forget the dot PHP that way at least we know this is an included file or something like that so here what we will do is include it um, actually the problem we have is when including we are using um, what are we using here mm. anyway not a big deal let's just include it it would be nice to use the view hmm. now instead of the view here I think what we ought to do is hmm, one moment the problem with the view here is that um, I have to push in the data here but maybe that's not a big deal uh, we can do that I guess anyway if we're going to use the view this is much cleaner than having to type uh, for example include something like this include and then i include something in there 
So I don't want to do that. So instead, I want to, to use this view function. But also, I don't want to have to add some data over here like this whenever I include this. I just want the scope of whatever is here to be available in whatever file I include there as well. So this is why I'm not liking this using this view. I'd rather include the file right here. Let's see how we can have that happen, shall we? Let's go to our controller, main controller in core. So controller. This is where our view function is. But hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, for now let's use it. I'll figure out something else a bit later. Let me just use it for now. Now I'm going to use a switch statement here to determine what to display. So I'll let me do that. Okay. So let's go with uh, switch like so. And what we're looking for in the switch is the page tab. Now, if the page tab is equal to lecturers, then we will do something else here. And let me duplicate this a couple of times. And this one is students. And this one is tests. Okay, so great. Let me move these a little bit lower. Now to show you that uh, this is going to work, I'm going to get this nav bar here, cut it out, and I will move it into the class tab lecturers include. Save. And because we've changed our strategy here, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to rename it. So let me right click and rename this to views to view from include to view, otherwise the system won't find it. And then I will copy this view, copy there, and then add it under the lecturers here, semicolon. And then here, I'll just copy this file name. So it's class tab lecturers. like so. Okay, and that's all we need to do. So if I now refresh the page, you see that nothing has changed. But if I click on students, you see that uh, there's nothing now here. Tests, there's nothing. But on lecturers, we have something. That's because that file is being activated when we go here, but nothing is activated on these ones. So let me copy this and paste it there and paste this one here as well. Okay, so here we have, uh, this one will be students. And this one will be tests. And then all I need to do now is copy this information. So copy all this and create a new file in views. Paste, create another new file paste. I'll save this. So click on lecturers here, class tab lecturers, and change the word lecturers to students. And then do the same for the other file. Click on students, change these to tests. Save. Now we can customize this instead of lecturer. This one is test add new test here add new student or add student add student add test add lecturer that way it's shorter 
Okay, so let's refresh now. You see this add lecturer, add student, add test. So these have effectively become separate pages like this. Now we can do separate things on each one of these. So the first obviously is to add a lecturer. Now, to be able to add a lecturer, we have to create another page. Uh, yes. Hmm. Now, the thing is, I don't want to go to a separate, entirely separate page because I want to be to still be able to see the school name here. OK, <clears throat> the name of this school and or the name of the class, sorry. And all these details here while I add a lecture, that way I'm not lost because if we go to another page, I may not know or may not remember what class I'm adding that lecturer to. So it means we just need to change the interface down here. Okay. And as we have seen already, it's easy to change the interface just by adding tabs. So these tabs here, but then what we will do is we're going to say, hmm, wait a minute here. I will duplicate this a couple of times. So there's the add, edit, and uh, delete, maybe not. But here we have lecturers add, copy. I'm going to put this one here and put a dash, add. So we are putting a dash because this is acceptable in the URL. And then here, same thing, students, add, and then here, tests, add. Okay, so here we'll have a separate file. So this one is going to be called class tab lecturers add, like this. So we're just trying to keep everything organized so that it's easy to even guess the file name just by knowing what it's doing. So copy this, there we go, copy. Okay, this one is the same, let's just add like so. And so likewise, we'll have an edit version and also a delete version of the same thing. Okay, so cool. Now, let's begin with just the add here and let's see how that will work. So to add, uh, we just need an interface actually. So I'm going to this tab lecturers add. I'm going to create a new file in views. Save it. Lecturers, then put a hyphen add. So it becomes class tab lecturers add dot view dot PHP with hyphens in the middle. And then here I'm just going to say form like this. So an input and then of type uh, text like this and I will put, I will save this, put an H4 tag and say add lecturer like so. This is enough just to demonstrate that it's working. And then I'll come back here to the view the same way we, um, where is this, lecturer add, I'm going to copy that. The same way we added these links here, we'll add that link to the button here. So I will copy this link right here. I think that's the best way to do this. So inside the href up to here, copy. And then I will go to uh, lecturer student, lecturer's view right here. And this button that says add lecturer, I will change the link right there. Now I removed too much, so I'll paste like so. 
and then instead of just lecturers will be a dash add at the end like so okay so let's come back and let's refresh oopsie what's going on add lecturer let me come back where is this oh it's right here uh what has gone wrong let me undo this okay so everything there is fine let me paste again and see where i went wrong row oh that's because raw is not there so what i'll do is i need to go to the this is lecturer's view i need to go back to single class and here where i add these this is what i was talking about i need to actually add an array here with row so that i can use that row data and then add row like that so let me come back and let's refresh okay so there we go now if i click actually i haven't changed it back to tab lecturer view so instead of just lecturers here it's going to be lecturers add back here refresh and then if i click that oopsie lecturers add it's not showing me what i want to see so back here let's see what's happening okay so it's lecturer add without an s so come back let's remove that s like so and refresh back add lecturer now there's add lecturer here okay if i go back add lecturer or i can click back on lecturer to cancel that student test just like that add okay so that is great i'll see you in the next video where we see how to actually add the lecturer see you then